Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be talking about four major features that are missing in iOS 8. Are you wanting to upgrade? Have you been swaying back and forth? You know, I don't want to lose my jailbreak, but I want to see what iOS 8 is all about. Let me give you some little helpful hints here, guys. There's so many bugs inside iOS 8 right now. I would wait till at least sometime in October before I even thought about upgrading. Four major things that are missing right now inside are the SMS continuity, the health kit, and iCloud Drive, and last but not least is Apple Pay. Now we're going to talk a little bit about each of these. Uh, the SMS continuity was one of the main features that caught my eye. So if that's not going to be there, then there's really no need for me to upgrade because that was really the only reason I was upgrading to start with. And you say, well, what is SMS continuity? That's what where you can start and finish an email or text on one machine and then finish it on a different device. You know, start it on a, a iOS device, finish it on a Mac. But now you have to be you have to also be using Yosemite, so you can't use this uh, feature. Mavericks and iOS 8 combination don't work, so you can get that out of your head right now. That that just won't work at all. You have to have Yosemite, so it's a combo type, type deal. And Apple has already stated that it probably would not be ready until sometime in October. So that's SMS continuity. iCloud Drive is another way that they entice people to come over to iOS 8. And what iCloud Drive is, it's just another form of storage uh, only in iCloud Drive. If you update to iCloud Drive, you will no longer be able to see or uh, use your documents on your other devices that aren't on iCloud Drive. So I hope I, I hope that made sense. So you know what I'm what I'm saying is if you're on iCloud on your iPad and iCloud Drive on your iPhone, then you're not going to be able to pull up uh, items interactively on either or. You're not going to be able to open up an iCloud document using the iCloud Drive device. So hopefully that wasn't too awful about confusing. Next thing is health kit. A lot of people out there are wanting to get this rolling. They're wanting to try to uh, improve their health. And Apple has an awesome app included with iOS 8. Uh, different things you can track. Your, your health, blood pressure, your weight, your diet. I mean, every, anything imaginable, it's right there. But right now, um, one of the big major developers... Brian Mueller, which is the developer of Carrot Fit, if you're familiar with that, uh, stated that his app got pulled from the App Store because of it included Health Kit, I should say. And they also offered him, if, they, if he wanted to resubmit it without Health Kit, that it would be approved. So that tells you right there that Health Kit isn't ready. So not launch ready, guys. Apple Pay was sort of the last feature to come on board at WWDC in June was the uh, conference they had. Anyway, Apple Pay is, is something like uh, instead of using your credit card, you'll have your information in your phone and say this is the uh, register right here at the store, you'll just sort of wave your phone in front of the register and it'll automatically deduct funds from your account and you don't have to physically get out your card and swipe it and all of that. They're saying there's going to be over 220,000 retail stores already on board. Whether or not that's true, I couldn't tell you. That's Apple statistics, by the way. Guys, there's, guys, there's four big-time features that aren't ready. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you still going to upgrade even though these four features aren't available. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. It really helps me out. Share this and keep coming back, guys.